it's just like a dark color. It doesn't look like there's gonna be any cream in here. Boy, if you don't get you for some reason, I don't know why I kind of thought that, but let's go ahead and try this first one. Hey my little lattes, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you guys can probably already tell by today's title, I'm gonna be trying the new Coca-Cola with coffee drinks that came out. What? And they did come out in three different flavors, so it's a dark blend, a vanilla, and a caramel flavor. And I believe also the dark blend has like a sugar-free um, option, so you can definitely look into that if you are trying to do sugar-free. But before we go any further, I did want to mention that today's video is sponsored by New Air. I have talked about New Air before, and they have sent me quite a few items you guys they've sent me a bunch of mini fridges a heater a fan and this time they actually sent me another mini fridge let me show you guys so here's the mini fridge that they sent me you guys it is so nice as you guys can see the lights inside are changing colors so there's like a, a bluish and amber and then there's also a white color so I did decide to put this fridge like right next to my couch in my living room area um, I find it that it'll be super convenient to just come over here and then reach for a drink let me show you guys the inside though so as you guys can see it has a lot of room and it's not even fully stocked right now honestly but this mini fridge can actually hold up to 224 cans and I'm talking about like this size here as you guys can see it has a lot of racks and I just put a bunch of our um, favorite drinks in here um, they do slide out as you guys can see all of the racks do slide out it does come with six racks and they are all adjustable racks I moved the temperature all the way up so you guys can see that this can go all the way up to 65 degrees and then the lowest that it can go is to 37 degrees so by the way the control panel right here is actually just touch so I just lightly touch it and it moves down so yeah, it's at 37. I did have this at 41, so I am just going to go ahead and put it back so it's not like messing with the um, temperature too much. So I'm going to talk about the lighting situation. It does have three different lights, so it has like a blue, a white, or a red. Everything is in the uh, little operations instructions, but I will kind of go over it real quick if you guys are interested. Those are the three colors. You switch back and forth, just lightly pressing on this button here. So I'm gonna show you guys the three different light modes. So basically right now, the one that I have on is, it switches colors just continuously and the light's always on, as you guys can tell. The next mode, it's going to be just the always on mode. So I will just press this button right here and hold it for three seconds. So that's gonna ensure that the light is always on, whether the fridge is closed or open, and then it's just staying at one light. And if I don't like that color, I can just switch it. So there's the white one, here's the blue one. But that's the always on mode. And then to turn on the last mode, hold it for three seconds. And this one is going to turn off every time you close the fridge. So whenever you close it, it'll be off the light will so yeah guys I thought the lighting was pretty neat as well as the capacity I was pretty impressed that this fridge can literally fit 224 cans it's not really huge it doesn't take up too too much space as you guys can see my couch is right here but it's right next to it and I really like kind of where I put this I did also want to mention that this you can read it in either Fahrenheit or Celsius so to change it to Celsius, you'll just hold the up and down arrows for three seconds and then it'll change to Celsius. Kind of like the other fridges that I've shown you guys in the past before. So if you guys are interested in the mini fridge or any of the other appliances that they might have on their website, definitely open up the link in the description. I will attach their link down below as well as a discount code that you guys can use on their website to save money. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. I actually have my drinks in the fridge, so let me grab them. So like I said, I'm gonna be trying um, three flavors. I didn't want to get the sugar-free one. I just wanted to get the regular one. So this is the caramel Coca-Cola coffee. This is the vanilla 
Coca-Cola coffee, and then this is the dark blend Coca-Cola coffee. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Okay, guys, so I have all the drinks right here. And again, I'm not doing the sugar-free one, but I would assume that you have to like coffee and Coca-Cola to like these. I like both of them, so I'm really hoping to like these, but it kind of sounds weird, no? Like, I'm used to either drinking a hot coffee in the mornings, sometimes an iced coffee for like a video or something, and then Coke, I usually drink cold, so I'm wondering how that taste will be. And also, I was kind of wondering, so I'm used to drinking my coffee with cream, Bruh. so I'm kind of thinking how it'll be, like, is the drink gonna be kind of like a light brown or just like a black, like a straight up black coffee in here with Coke? That's what I'm trying to um, think of. But let me read here. So I'm gonna probably start with the vanilla drink. I'm gonna put these to the side real quick. Um, let me just read here. It just says, great Coca-Cola taste blended. So this is what it says. It says, great Coca-Cola taste blended with rich, luxurious coffee. So let's go ahead and start, you guys. Again, this is the vanilla flavor. I'm kind of nervous. I really want to like these, but... Oh, also, I did read that they have... Um, I think I saw it online somewhere, but each can has, I think, around 69 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah! Which I kind of think is a lot, but again... If you get like a venti drink from Starbucks, I'm sure that's probably more or around the same. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Okay, first things first. The drink does look um, like a dark color. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the bubbles kind of make it look like a light brown. Um, yeah, it's just like a dark color it doesn't look like there's gonna be any cream in here which for some reason i don't know why i kind of thought that but let's go ahead and try this first one wait a minute this tastes like first off this kind of does taste like coffee that's so weird mm. It definitely tastes like Coke though, like, you know, you get like that little fizz in your throat. And then there is like a weird coffee taste in here. It kind of reminds me for some reason of like a root beer float. I don't know why I'm getting that taste. I can't really taste vanilla, like the vanilla flavor I really can't taste in here. It reminds me so much for some reason of a root beer float. Okay. I guess because when you have, um, whenever I've made root beer floats, it's usually the, the drink with the like vanilla ice cream. Maybe that's why I'm getting that taste, but I don't know if I like this. Like I can taste coffee and I can taste the Coke and just something is telling me root beer float i don't know if i necessarily like this i feel like whenever i have coffee i kind of want like a smooth taste like you know when you swallow it just for it to be like smooth and then with coke you know that it has that fizz like that you know the feeling in your throat when you're drinking soda and i don't feel like they mix well together mm. but i'll come back to it and I'm gonna move on to the next uh, flavor for now. So I think I'm gonna try dark blend next. Um, again, this just says the same thing. It's just the dark blend. So let's go ahead and try this one. Oh, this definitely smells, I feel like better than that one. Okay, let me go ahead and try them. Okay, wait. Okay, the dark blend is different than the vanilla in a way that it's more subtle i do taste coffee and i do taste um the coca-cola i can still get i i still get like that you know tingling sensation in your throat but it does also taste sweeter than normal coke and then it almost has like a little burnt taste you know like that roasted toasted kind of like a burnt taste in here that's kind of what this reminds me of um, but it's overall not too bad you guys. I mean, you know, you're drinking coke So that's what you have to think of but yeah, honestly, this one's not that bad to be honest I do prefer this one so far over the vanilla one. So let's go ahead and try the caramel flavor next 
this is the can again it's just the caramel flavor um, and it says the same thing on the packaging as the other one I feel like I can't really smell this one coronavirus okay but I'm gonna go ahead and taste it okay this is this is also pretty sweet It's like so confusing because it's almost like I can get like a coffee taste and then all of a sudden it's like, no, it's Coke. With this one, I kind of get <clears throat> like an artificial caramel flavor. Um, it does also kind of have like that burnt taste. And this is also pretty sweet compared to the dark roast one. Okay, it's not too bad. I can taste like an artificial caramel flavor in there, which is honestly not my favorite. But I feel like this one is better than the vanilla one. And it's weird because honestly, I thought the vanilla one sounded the best from all of them, which is so weird that I didn't like that one really. I don't know if I would repurchase this one though or the vanilla one to be honest because both of them are pretty sweet. And it, I feel like if I'm going to have coffee, I'm just going to have coffee. If I'm going to have Coke, then I'll probably just have Coke. I do think this one was a little bit better than both of those. Um, if you like coke you're probably gonna like the if you like coke and you like coffee you might actually like this because it really does just taste like coca-cola a little sweeter and just does have like a little bit of a burnt coffee taste which honestly i don't mind it too much um would i probably re-buy this i don't know i do kind of feel like like i said if i'm gonna have coffee i'm just gonna have coffee if i'm gonna have coke i'm just gonna have coke i do feel like it's a lot of caffeine too so Definitely probably not going to rebuy, but yeah, it's overall not too bad Definitely give these drinks a try you guys if you're interested or let me know if you guys already did So yeah guys, that is pretty much it for today's video Let me know what you guys thought of the drinks if you have already tried them or if you're going to try them Let me know down below definitely give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed today's video Also, if you guys are interested in the mini fridge that I talked about open up the description box and don't forget to use my code so you guys can save money that's it for today's video you guys i'll see you in the next one bye